Hello, good morning everybody. How you doing today? Uh, my name is Clement and um, I'm the author of the book, Your Potentials, The Source of Your Greatness. I just want to, you know, say something briefly to every one of you this morning. I felt, you know, a burden in my spirit to share this with you. And it has to do with the coming year, the year 2018. I know most people are already preparing, you know, to write out their dreams and their aspirations and, uh, you know, the things they want to achieve in 2018. Some people are already getting ready to pray all night on the 31st night. Uh, some people are already, you know, receiving prophecies as regarding how beautiful the coming year will be like. But can I remind you that today is the 22nd of December 2017. And I want to ask you, what have you achieved this year? What were the plans, what were the dreams that you had in January that have materialized now? What were the things you achieved? What did you do? What were the successes you recorded? What were the feats that you achieved? I want to know. You know, everyone at the beginning of each year, you know, comes up with some plans, you know, some dreams, you know, some visions of how beautiful the one that coming year would to be like. But the question I want to ask you now, revisit your plans, revisit your ambition, your dreams, the things you wrote down that you were going to achieve in the year 2017. Did you achieve all of them? Did you achieve up to 50% of your plans? Did all the prophecies come true? Did all the prayers receive answers? Now, I know for the greater percentage of people, the answer to this question will be a no. Of course, I'm not surprised that it will be a no. The reason is because we are good at drawing plans. We are good at, you know, uh, just having dreams and wishing and, and just hoping for a great future. It has become a tradition to always, you know, have New Year resolutions. It has become a tradition. It has become a routine to always, you know, bring out some dreams and some, you know, um, visions at the beginning of every year. But it has not become tradition to work out those dreams. It has not become a routine. You know, we are, we are, not, yet, we are not yet accustomed to the hard work behind, you know, bringing those dreams to, re to reality. For the, for, the, for the most of us, we leave our dreams and our aspirations to chance. And, you, you know, it was Colin Powell who said that a dream does not become reality through magic. But it takes hard work, it takes determination, and it takes perseverance to bring your dreams to reality. And so if you are like most other people who left you know, your, their, their dreams to chance, who, you know, expected magic or miracle to just happen, you know, for their dreams to find materialization, I want to say to you that you probably haven't achieved even 10% of all the things you said you were going to do in 2017. You were not self-disciplined enough to have achieved that. You were not diligent enough to have even gotten up to 10% of all the things you said you were going to do. And I know you are about to repeat the same mistake in 2018. You are about to do the same thing that you did before. You are already, you know, wishing and getting ready for 31st nights to receive some prayers and some prophecies to write down some resolutions that you know you will never work hard to achieve. You are just hoping again 
that the coming year is going to be greater than this year. You are just wishing again that, that the year 2018 is going to be a year of great exploits. You are just dreaming again. But I come to charge you this morning. Don't you ever get into 2018 with that mindset that things are just going to work out by themselves. Don't ever get into January 1st, 2018 with the mentality that it's all going to be good by itself. Listen to me. Things don't get good by themselves. People do not achieve great feats by miracle. People, you know, do not become successful by chance. Every successful person that you know have actually worked out. They have a strategy that they follow these strategies. They have plans and they, they back up their plans with actions. And thanks to that, they achieve results. So if you want to live a life of productivity in the coming year, if you want to be very productive, I dare you to learn hard work. I dare you to learn perseverance. I dare you to take actions, to back up your plans with actions. I dare you to stop dreaming and start acting. Now, why am I saying this? I'm saying this because if you do not work hard, if you do not take actions, but just wish and just dream, the coming year will most likely be worse than the previous one. So what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that your future depends on the actions that you take. They, they don't, your future is not dependent on your dreams and your aspiration and your ambitions. It's not dependent on magic. It's not dependent on miracles. It's not dependent on prayers. It's not dependent on the prophecy that you will receive on crossover night. No, it all depends on the actions that you take, on the hard work, on how much knowledge you are able to get, of how much studies you are able to do, of how much, you know, diligence you are able to you know you know to exercise that is what will determine how your future will be like how your 2018 will be like so i want to i want to charge you begin to think of how you will bring all your dreams to reality begin to think of how you will put action to all your plans you know a lot of people don't even read they don't study they don't learn i mean we could have a whole year 365 day and someone would spend that 365 days without even opening a book without having to read one book without having to grow in knowledge and in wisdom and understanding now you cannot you know change situations you can't change, you know, circumstances with the same level of knowledge with which they were created. So if your 2017 was not productive, you need to increase your knowledge in 2018. You need to find out the how. You need to find out the, the, you know, the process, the procedures that are required, that are needed to live a productive life in the coming year. And that is only possible when you read books. You have to study. You have to research. You have to go into the library. You have to switch off the TV. You have to, you know, stop playing Candy Crush and start studying, start reading. Because readers are leaders. The empires of the future are the empires of the mind. And a mind that is not developed has no empire for the future. You cannot have a great future if your mind is not developed. And how do you develop your mind? You develop your mind by reading, by taking in knowledge, by building your mind. And I want to encourage you not to just think that God will do something. That God is going to do a miracle in the coming year to make you prosperous or to make you productive or successful. God is not going to do anything. He already did everything he needed to do. He already gave you a mind. He already gave you resources. He already gave you gifts and talents. He already gave you potentials. 
Go and make use of your potentials. Go and make use of all the resources that are around you, that God has given to you. Go and engage your mind and stop waiting on God for miracles in the coming year. And if you do that, I believe that you are going to have a great year ahead. You are going to look back, you know, at 2018 and be glad that you worked hard and be glad that you took the necessary steps that, you know, that were required, you know, to achieving and to becoming successful in life. Once again, my name is Clement and I'm the author of the book, Your Potentials, The Source of Your Greatness. You can find that book on Amazon and you can find the book on Okada Books uh, Bookstore, you know. Read, study, improve, get better, grow in knowledge, grow in wisdom and understanding, learn a new skill, become productive, get done with watching movies and, you know, watching sports. They don't add any value to you. You need to increase your value this coming year and you increase your value by studying, by reading books, by building yourself up. I'm going to leave you with this. You are capable of becoming the best of yourself in 2018. You have what it takes to evolve into the best version of you. This is not you. This is only a mediocre version of you. This is only, you know, a failed version of you. There is a successful version of you. There is a great version of you. There is a best version of you. And you can actually evolve from who you are now into, you know, what you should be. And that is possible by increasing your value, by adding more value to yourself on a daily basis, by reading books, by learning, by studying. And as you do that, you are going to find out that you have been living far below your true potentials. And you are going to find out that there is nothing that you cannot achieve if you will work hard. See you in the year 2018. And don't forget to back up your plans with actions. Blessings.